Very fast 10 gigabit ethernet card that is backwards compatible with slower speeds. Take off the cover and then install this into any open PCIe slot. Obviously, we don't have any slots open, so I might have to take out this card. This one is another 10 gigabit card that we are going to replace. And this is the old card. This old card is the Intel X540 T1. This is a very nice card, but it only does three speeds 10 gigabit. 1 gigabit and 100 megabits. Our new card is 10 gigabit, but it can connect to slower speeds, including 5 gigabit per second, 2.5 gigabit per second, 1 gigabit per second, and 100 megabits per second. As per the user manual, underneath here, this is the AQC113 chipset from Marvel. So that's what makes this card so good is that modern chipset. And we have a simple RJ45 port on this side. So let's go ahead and put this card in and it's gonna go into that slot right there. Once you line it up, just push in until it clicks in place and then you can just put the screw back in. And just like that, 10 gigabit ethernet card is now installed. Let's install the network card driver under my computer. Go ahead and open this, open a new window right here. And we're gonna go to this computer, right click and select manage. This is the computer management. Go to your device manager and we're gonna look for the network card that was just installed. Uh, other devices, oh, right here. So it, it shows up as ethernet controller. So we're gonna right click right there and we're gonna select update driver. Now we are going to browse the computer for the driver and we're gonna look for the driver inside our USB drive that was included with the network card. So they give us a USB drive with the network card drivers and that is the ACQ113 drivers. Double click it and then go right here and select OK. Then it's gonna browse for that in that folder. So go next, let it install and boom, the Marvel Fast Lin Q Edge 10 gigabit ethernet adapter. Once you got that, go ahead and click close. So then now you see this is under our network adapter. Perfect. So now we should be able to connect our ethernet cable to it. So now if I open up my network connections, I have disabled everything intentionally and I've unplugged this 2.5 gigabit because I want to use this one. This one is our Nick Giga. 10 gigabit ethernet card right here. Let's call this one, let's just rename this one. Nick Giga 10G right there. And if I double click it, it opens up and there we go. Nick Giga 10G, it's been connected to the ethernet for about two minutes and we had 10 gigabit per second. Sweet, all right, it looks like it's good. Let's go ahead and do a speed check. And there's your internet right there. Let's click go and check it out. And we are ready to rock and roll. Connecting and let's go, speed test, woo. 4.2, 4.3, 4.5, 4.6, 4.4, around, around 4.5 gigabit per second download. Oh man, that is flying. Sweet. Let's check the upload speed. And we are at the races. 4.7 gigabit per second upload. That is fast, guys. Again, there we go. That is a Marvel fast. Lin Q Edge 10 gigabit ethernet adapter. That's fast. And there we go. This is from the Nick Giga 10 gigabit PCIe network adapter. That's the performance you get. 